Let's hear from the Lady Rocket basketball team as it readies for the All-A Classic State Tournament. We're actually a veteran team, and I think that um, Nala is one of our biggest strengths, and so is Tola, I think, is actually one of um, the best post players in the region, and no one can guard her in the post. And we also have some good shooters. Chandler Moss is good from 15 feet, Lloyd Perryman, Addie, myself. None of us are bad from 15 feet, so I think all of us together are a really powerful team. I think it's kind of neat that me and my sisters got to go to the state tournament. Kyla went in 2011, me and Cassie went in 2017, and I get to go this year, 2021, which is kind of exciting. So going out there and playing on a college court, that'll be fun. And just playing with my team, hopefully winning the first round. Um, Newport Central Catholic basically has two main players, shoot threes, point guard. They're tall, they run the floor, so we got to work on that. Getting back on defense and stopping their two main players. Okay, so uh, right now we're planning on leaving Sunday morning uh, around 8 o'clock. Um, uh, I always try to get us on a collegiate floor before we play at Eastern uh, because it's 10 more feet in length, and you might not think that makes a whole lot of difference, but it surely does uh, when they're running up and down the floor. So I want them to know what that feels like. Um, so we're going to go to Campbellsville and practice. A buddy of mine coaches there, Ginger, uh, who's Ginger High, Ginger Colvin. Uh, we did a lot of stuff together in college. and um, So we're going to go there and practice and uh, around noon, and then we're going to go on to Richmond and get settled into our hotel. Uh, I've got some arrangements made then for Monday morning uh, to be able to get on the floor there and uh, have a shoot around for an hour or so and get our legs under us a little bit more there, and then we play Monday night. Um, so, you know, I watching the weather right now I don't think there will be a big issue with us getting there um, you know I talked to Mike Reeves this morning uh, that's kind of heads up the tournament and uh, you know he said they really want to have it barring a catastrophe with the weather um, so once we get there um, then you know the schedule may be, may be maneuvered around a little bit after that first game uh, you know if we, if we win and, and then when we would play the second one right now would be Thursday uh, but that could change a little bit, uh, you know, we just don't know. They have through Sunday to get the tournament in. So if something had to push back and we don't play it all on Monday because the weather's really bad and we start on Tuesday, then they can push back a little bit. But that's, you know, uh, that's the tentative plan right now. Um, mm -hmm. and I feel good about us getting there. And then, uh, you know, weather, we just have to watch as far as, as when we would, would come back, uh, you know, one way or the other. Coach Hodgen, looking at uh, Newport Central Catholic's numbers, they are five and five on the season, while your team is nine and three. And if you look at the RPI on the KHSAA website, they're a 534 team, and we're a 585 team. So just a little bit better in the RPI. Does that mean anything to you? You know, I really don't pay a whole lot of attention to that. Uh, like, you know, it's it's fun to talk about, but uh, you know, we've won a few more games than they have. Um, so our RPI is a little bit higher than theirs, I think. That's based off of your win-loss and then strength of schedule and, and things like that, you know. Uh, but, you know, when you get into a, a situation like this, a state tournament, uh, you know, I think those kind of things don't make a whole lot of difference. I think it's just your – a lot of it has to do with your mental preparedness going in um, and, and – uh, you know, that, that mental can tell that physical what to do. And, you know, we've been off a couple of days. And so from a conditioning standpoint, you know, we're not where we were a couple of weeks ago. I'll just be honest, we're not. Um, which is also a reason why I want us to see what that long floor feels like when we're running up and down. Um, but, you know, we just have to go in and try to understand things that we do well and try to go do those things. Uh, try to improve every day while we're practicing and preparing to go. Uh, understand the things that they do well uh, and you know the big thing about them I think that's gonna make that'll that we have to think about a whole lot is just their length they are very long tall long uh, you know as far as being a whole lot faster than us uh, or something like that I don't think they are but that length makes a big difference when you're passing the basketball um, so we really have to have to take care I think I think our execution our ability to uh, to take care of the basketball, uh, if we can, we can limit our turnovers. Uh, I think I think we'll be right there. Um, 
So that's that's a, a big key. But you know, uh, the kids are excited. Um, a lot of these have, have never played in a state tournament. Um, you know, it's been a few years since we've gone. It was back four years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And so Nala and Chandler and that group were freshmen. And I think Nala and Chandler, and maybe Matea, I, I think maybe dressed, but uh, you know, they, they didn't play uh, very much. And so uh, it's gonna be new for all of them. So it's a fun experience and I'm really, really glad that, uh, you know, we're, what we're looking at right now is that we're gonna get to go and get to have that experience. Um, uh, you know, we'll just see what happens when the ball goes up. Well, or, well it doesn't go up when the coin flips. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach Hodge, this is your seventh trip to the All-A State Championship. And I'm sure each one has its own uh, luster and, and excitement that surrounds it. But is there anything in particular about this number seven that really uh, adds to it? You know, I, like you said, each one uh, is, is different. And the, the big thing for me is to get to see these girls that, that they've worked really hard and uh, get to see that hard work pay off and get an opportunity to do something that's special like this. And, you know, uh, we've talked this week when we have gotten to get into the gym about, you know, control the things we can control. And there's uncontrollables out there right now with, with COVID and with the weather and the things that we can't control. And the season's been that way. But just to enjoy the moment and be able to, you know, see them get to go compete um, you know, in a state tournament and, and in that setting. And, uh, you know, it's a new challenge. It's, a, it's a, a new experience. So things like that are helpful to them, you know, as they continue on in life. And, and you know, we just get to make the most of it. Um, and, and, you know, that's, I think that's what's special for me each time uh, is just get to see them and get to, get to try to help them get to that next level of competition. Well, certainly this will be one for the ages because with the <laughs> pandemic and the weather, uh, yeah. it adds a, a new twist, it two does. new twists, it doesn't does, it? It does, you know, it does. And, and, you know, that's why I say every, every moment, every opportunity that we get to, to play the game, uh, we need to embrace and, and make the most of because we don't know what we're going to get to do, uh, you know, on the next day. So, um, you know, that's and that's kind of how things are in life, too. Like I was talking about, mm -hmm. basketball and sports are great teachers of life. And these are these are really uh, these girls are great girls. Um, you know, they have we have six seniors and I was really hoping, uh, you know, that we would get to go on and get to play this for them uh, uh, being their senior year and, and not, you know, being able to have another opportunity. Uh, to go and so I think it speaks a lot for them uh, those kids that have been in our program for a long time Like I said, it's been four years, but they have they have built built us back up mm -hmm. to, to, to being able to go and and win a regional uh, uh, Championship and get to go back and play again And then we have you know the younger younger group that uh, is a huge part of it, too So I think it's a special and unique combination there of uh, kids and you know, we're just hoping to go play our best ball <laughs>